Absolutely impressive, John. What do you think? I think I just wet my pants. Yes, and that was the scream of victory, my friends. Thank you for choosing to follow the career of Frank, freak of nature, Beasley, certified heavy metal ninja, past winner of the game show Wipeout, and now future NHL star. So, Frank is 5'11", 170 pounds, from San Francisco, California of the United States, center grinder, is going to be playing for the dub in the Everett Silver silver tips so i think what we will do like many people are doing throughout this live the life series most people are playing the whole games but i think what we will be doing is simming the first periods first two periods why because everybody else is doing it and we want to do what everybody else is doing like ability meter governs how you're perceived by the fans teammates management and your family these meters go from negative 100 to positive 100 because they don't care there will have consequences, positive and negative, based on how much the meter is filled. The meter can be filled by answering questions during interviews with the media, endorsements, off-ice events, and your on-ice performance. Hoorah! Dismissed and never show again. Welcome to the NHL. I don't care. <laughs> so, first game of the season. It's against the Halifax Mooseheads. Nathan McKinnon. Why not? Because we can. So they get one nothing lead. Four nothing lead. We are so fucked. So we may be down four to nothing. But that's not going to stop us. I smell a comeback. Good hit there. But a heavy metal ninja. Hoorah! See? He does everything. He takes penalties. Almost gets an assist as well. But now we have a power play. But I'm on the bench. Five to nothing. We can still come back. It's still a game. Frank should go for a line change, but he doesn't care. The heavy metal ninja decides what to do, whatever he wants. Coach doesn't want him to come off, so Frank will not go off. Now he will come off. Give me the puck. There we go. Here goes Frank Beasley. Frank Beasley. Shot. Blocked away by the goalie. Taken away by Everett. Why the net? Low shot by Frank. Once again blocked by the goalie. Uyghur over to Fournier. Frank doesn't like Fournier. Frank hip checks Fournier. You do not want to go toe to toe with a ninja. I know that. You do not want to go toe to toe with a ninja. Everything settles. I definitely need to balance my chakras. Frank Beasley now with the puck. The heavy metal ninja sees an open space. Blocked away, though, by the goalie. And that'll basically do it. Tough night as your team was unable to contain Nathan McKinnon, Frank, who had an incredible game. How does your team learn from this? That's how the heavy metal ninja thinks. We need to learn from this. Oh, hone us our skills. There's lots of lessons that we could take from us. We'll definitely be going over it in training this weekend. So the management upgrade. But now we go on and have to face the London Knights. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what happened to my body back there. I think Frank Beasley might have possessed my own body there. But you guys can let me know if you want me to talk like Frank or not, or if you just want me to do these kind of clip things with my regular voice. But here we go, the second game of the season in living the life of Frank Beasley against the London Knights here off of a pretty big blowout loss to the Halifax Mooseheads. We're coming up here against the London Knights. Start off with a... 3-1 to one deficit here, but Frank does get a goal in the second period on Bally. And we go into the third period here. Frank moving up the ice here. A nice slap wrist shot there, but blocked all away. Off to the side. Max Domi picks up the puck and will clear the puck away. But he does get leveled, though, by Frank. A nice hit there. As we go into a little bit 
back in here into the third period. Nice little toe drag there, but a shot on that by Frank. Galley takes the puck back. Frank tries to keep it in the zone, but unfortunately nothing will happen as they move it out of the zone, but Frank gets another good hit on there. Moving around here, a shot there off of the post or off of the shoulder of the goalie as the London Knights will clear it out of there. 12 minutes to go left in the third. Frank with another nice little wrist shot on that at the end of a line change. Working it in the zone, but unfortunately the goalie still keeps the shot there. 4-1. to one. London would actually tally another goal. And unfortunately, the Everett Silver Tips would lose this game 4-1 to one as well. But as we go into the third game of the season, the last game of the CHL against the Saskatoon Blades, as it would be a one to nothing lead for the Saskatoon going into the third period here, as the Silver Tips look to tie this game up. So Winquist moving the puck back here, gets the puck taken away though. Frank tries to keep it in, but evades him and they move it out of the zone. So coming into the third, Frank jumps off the bench, but Winquist does put the puck into the net to tie the game up at one to one between Saskatoon and Everett. So that was a good goal there by Josh Winquist, tie the game up at one to one. Frank does get a plus for being on the ice. So move a little bit back here. Nice pass, backwards skating pass to Frank over to uh, I forget whose name that is, Hayer on the ice to give Everett a two to one lead here in this game. Manjari Head Hayer puts this puck in the net. Nice back skate in there. Frank just cuts off to the middle. Hayer wide open on the left side. Just passes that puck right to him. Wrist shot. Actually not even a wrist shot, more just like a regular uh pass shot into the back of the net for Hayer as Everett takes a two to one lead going into the third here, but unfortunately Frank gets a little careless by poke checking the puck in his own zone and unfortunately puts the puck into his own net. The game does go to overtime and Everett does score a goal in overtime, 3-2. to two. Frank was on the bench unfortunately, but Everett does walk away with a 3-2 to, three to two victory. Frank does get the second star of the game with one assist and five hits. And so they end the season 1-2. and two. However, they have taken care of the London the London Knights are next on the list. So the first period, we have a 3-1 to one lead. Baumel, Harrison, and Ellie both get goals. Petrick gets one for them. 3-1 to one going into the third period here. Frank does take the pass there. But unfortunately, the goalie saves it again. Going into the last minute of the third period here, it is to 4-2. Frank takes that puck off of Tremley, passes that puck up to Petrick, who shoots that puck onto the net and a 5-2 to two empty netter. For the Silver Tips, Frank does get an assist on the play, and Everett would go on to win that game, 5-2. to two. Reed Petriak with his second goal for, of the game. Frank Beasley gets two assists on the night, and Cole Baumel also gets two goals. So Frank does get the second star again. But so they move on in the Memorial Cup Finals to face the Halifax Mooseheads in the next game. Taking a look at the stats there, Frank Beasley is up there at the top of the list, but as we begin game two of this thing, Hayer gets two goals in the first, so Everett takes a 3 to nothing lead going into the third. Halifax does get one goal there from the captain of the Mooseheads. I forget his name right off the top of my head. Stefan Fournier gets a goal there. 3-1, to one. so Petrick takes this puck back up the ice. Frank Beasley takes the puck back. Nice dangling there. Kind of bumps off his own defenseman, but a nice first shot on the top left corner. Frank Beasley takes his shot and gets his first live goal in this Live the Life series. Frank Beasley, his second goal of the Memorial Cup. Just a nice little wrist shot, kind of a little dangling around. His defense and his own players kind of bumps into that big, jumble of players right there still has to control of the puck and just a nice wrist shot past the goalie past Zachary Foucault and that's a goal there move a little bit along four to one still but Fournier gets another goal to make it four to two however that would be the final score of the game four to two for Everett over the Halifax Mooseheads who completely embarrassed Everett last time in the regular season but unfortunately when the Memorial Cup came and went Everett does come out on top as they go on to the Memorial Cup Finals. There's Ryan Murray, Lots, the goalie who had a pretty good game in that. Frank Beasley having a pretty good time right now for the Everett Silver Tips, getting a lot of assists on the net, and they move on to the Memorial Cup Finals to face the Saskatoon Blades, and that will be coming up next, guys. The Saskatoon Blades against the Everett, Steel Everett Silver Tips in the Memorial Cup Finals.